and when you were strangers and, and you were away from God, without God and without hope in this world, the Lord reached you in the gutter. The Lord reached you in the bar. The Lord reached you down in the pit, in the miry clay, and He delivered you from Satan and hell and all manner of wickedness. There is no second class citizen in the kingdom whether you're the 10th generation apostolic or you're a first generation apostolic. We can all sing together, thank God I am free. I am free. I am free from this world of sin. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter, uh, Romans chapter 6, I mean. Let, let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body that you should obey in the lust thereof. Neither yield ye members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law but under grace. What then shall we sin? Because we are not under the law, but under grace. God forbid, know ye not, that to whom ye yield yourself servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. Verse 17, here it is. But God be thanked that ye... That ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you, being then made free from sin, became the servants of righteousness. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh, for as ye have yielded your members to servants to uncleanness and to iniquity unto iniquity, even so now yield your members servants to righteousness. Unto holiness. Amen. I, I think sometimes people are unaware of how the world works. We live in a world that is both physical and spiritual. And there is a domain of darkness and there is a domain of light. And just as God desires for us to be empowered and to be a witness and to be a tool for His kingdom and for His purpose. He, he desires to live in you and he, God desires to lead you and God desires to talk to you and God desires to cause you to allow His light to shine through you. That is His plan. But often before His plan becomes realized, you are an instrument of, of darkness. You're an instrument of Satan. And there's not, there's not like three different or four different or ten different categories. You know, darkness and light and kind of darkness or kind of light. You are either servants of light or you are servants of darkness. You are the servants of righteousness or servants of sin. Whoever you yield your members to, you are the servant of that. How many of you can look back in your life and see when you were a servant of sin? And, and you, you are either a witness and an influence for God or you're a witness and an influence for the devil. You're either leading people into the kingdom of God or you're leading people down a road to hell. Amen. And many, how many of you can remember when the influence you had, the influence you had, you influenced people to do things that were contrary to the word of God? Amen. It is, it is such a world today. Amen. We literally live in a world today where that which is good is called evil. And that which is evil is called good. Amen. They try to make someone a fool that believes in God and believes the Bible and believes in heaven and believes in the hell. And they've made us a parody of sort. And like a clown, they laugh and laugh and laugh. But sadly, they, are, they, they don't realize that they have become captive at the will of Satan. And they are a witness. They are a, an evangelist. They are leading people to that which the Lord Jesus Christ shed His precious blood to deliver them from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of His dear Son. And how important was it? How 
how critical was it? How valuable was it to God? Amen. That someone would no longer be in darkness and would be in light. How valuable, how important was it for God to, to, to do these things? He, he realized that there was no man, there was no one found that could open the book. There was no one found who was without uh, condemnation and without sin. There was none good, none but God. And so God in the fullness of time came in the likeness of sinful flesh that he might condemn sin in the flesh and beyond that that he could shed his righteous blood that we would have atonement and we could be redeemed from and translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light in the kingdom of his dear son and though we had no covenant we weren't the children of Abraham we and have generations of people that serve God before us but God who is rich in mercy he has called us he has sought us he has drawn us he has washed us he has sanctified us and what's so great is God is not a respecter of persons neither indeed can be I'm telling you what God has given every man the measure of faith if you could just stir up the gift that God has given all all of us and decide you know what I'm tired of the darkness I'm tired of being used by the devil to use my influence for iniquity and I made up in my mind hallelujah save me help me deliver me hey man I'm so glad today that I can see it in my father and I can see it in myself and I know I've seen it in many people that miraculous translation when someone is translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of the Son of God. <laughs>